Amcation 2023, and Bob has a working prototype of his Azel rotor for satellite tracking, which will soon be available in the R Finder device. We're going to talk to him about it right now. I was in Victoria. Okay, we've talked about this on the show before, on the live stream. Yes. This is a working prototype. What is so? Is it just? It's just. just is it just demonstrating itself right now? Yeah, it's just running a loop program right now. To okay. Just, you know, uh, to just flip it around back and forth. Right, bit, okay. You know. All right, so tell us what we're looking at, Bob. So this is an Azel rotator. It was originally made by, um, by Portable Rotation, and they took it off the market about three years ago. And um, we went to them and, and talked them into bringing it back to life and making a special version for us that includes Bluetooth and some improvements on the uh, on the controller board so this is the one-off prototype of that uh, we hope to have these available by um, uh, by Dayton uh, 2023 good so yeah so um, the concept is uh, you'll be able to uh, bring up on our finder a new function called satellite it'll show you the list of FM transponder satellites and two meters and 440 and in the order of the next pass. And you'll just be able to choose it. It'll swing to the correct azimuth, follow the satellite across the sky, and adjust the Doppler as it passes. So everything all in one, uh, full control over the transceiver as well as the, uh, as, as, as well as the antenna tracking. Very cool. Yes. Very cool. So now the R Finder, so for people who don't know, the B1 will transmit and receive on different bands so okay, you can set it to transmit on two meters and receive on 440 or vice versa but it is not full duplexing so just to make that clear but it'll work just fine especially if you have this tracking this type is that an arrow antenna or an elk antenna uh, it's an arrow but an elk would work an elk fine. would work too so sure. and you can even put it on this side over here if you want to there's That's a correct. mount for it right here so if we were talking about flipping around 90 degree polarization but these these radials here would bump into the yeah, the reflector the, is a little yeah, bit. So yeah. We'd have to test it and see if we can find a good positioning for it to see if it would right. uh, fly. You always make the make the boom a little bit longer too. Yeah, we could extend the boom. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Yep, but it's a prototype, so right. it's all about experimentation, right everybody? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's all about experimentation. So, so. But it's pretty cool that you'll be able to bring up the satellites in the R Finder app. And just and it just yeah. click on what you want and yeah, in follow fact, it. We're going to change the name of uh, the worldwide repeater directory to the intergalactic repeater directory. <laughs> once we do that, so. intergalactic repeater directory. <laughs> Our finder, the intergalactic repeater directory. Okay, we could do that. We could yeah, do that. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look out! It's coming for you. I'm cool, coming. man. Thanks for your time today. Have a good show. Catch <laughs> you guys later. <laughs>